This week on Whitetails Inc., Dallas, Fort Worth. Nuff said. At Whitetails Inc., we do all the work and don't hunt with outfitters or guides on huge pieces of managed property. We're do it yourselfers just like you. We're not professional athletes, but sometimes we feel like professional tree trimmers. We have extremely high standards and only compete with ourselves. I think I just passed about a thousand inches. <laughs> we don't have any cool catchphrase. Let's party. Or feel the need to use face paint to fit in. We only use gear that works and not because somebody's paying us to do so. The only thing that makes us special is our level of dedication. Well, except that Dallas Fort Worth wears a cape and is missing his trigger finger. Welcome to Whitetails Inc. Every scrape in this area that I can see from my stand, the one right below it, the one over here, one there, one there, and one up on the top, all have been worked in the past 24 hours. So that tells me two things. One, well, it really only tells me one thing. The deer are moving, and with this cold front, they're going to be moving even more. So let's just hope there's does in the area so the big boys will come in and, uh, you know, start scent checking this, uh, this ridge again. If it's not one thing, it's the other. And that was the other. <laughs> there ain't no deer here. There's one, there's one giant buck and he doesn't even, he doesn't even come close to this area. So, uh, oh, you hear that? It's raining harder. So, <laughs> Come on in the woods, everybody. Deer hunting is A-OK. -okay. See him? Do you see him? Yeah. Something's happened to this property. I'm not sure what. We were seeing potential shooters in 140 and 150 classes every day last year. There is dramatically less does this year and I don't know if it maybe the shotgun hunters came in and wiped them out or or uh, they're just to different food sources but we're playing a cat and mouse game right now that we're losing the key to a good rattle is a proper stance a little less depending on what kind of stand you have about shoulder width apart a little bit of bend in the knee Elbows slightly bent, about uh, a little over 90 degrees. Uh, and then I, I, I start with a slam, tickle, tickle, slam, grind, grind, slam. Today I turned 31, and um, I guess I'm no longer a kid anymore. Someone told me, when, you know, after your 30th year, you know, you take time, you celebrate, and then it's time to be an, an adult. I don't like that, so I'm not going to do that. So what I really want for my birthday is a big old deer to walk by, probably 25, 30 yards. And just put an arrow in his lungs. It's really all I want. Kind of like last year, but with better results. Uh, one year ago today, I shot shipwreck. There's a whole long story that I don't want to get into now because I'll probably start crying. But um, that was a good one. 
Hey, at least we can get skunked. If we were after four pointers that scored 50 inches, well, we'd be in luck. That's a very patternable deer. He's come through every evening and every morning, every time we sat in the stand. But there are no does, and there is no buck, big bucks. On a side note, this really sucks. No deer. No deer. But uh, there's several other bucks in this area that have the capability of being shooter potential. Uh, nothing real big on the trail cameras, but I know there's other deer in this area and they can pop out anytime. So we're going to uh, hop into the iceberg stand and uh, hopefully try to wreck another ship. <laughs> huge runways coming in this little pinch point that we're sitting in and uh, I just hope a hot doe pulls a big old buck through. Me and Ryan have decided to uh, cut the truckers today and that's going to be a game changer for us. I mean you don't just walk around with facial hair like this thinking Oh, hey, everybody, how you doing? This is, you know, my name is Dallas Fort Worth. You walk around going, hey, I'm here to dominate and go home. So that's kind of the message I want to send to the deer with this, basically saying, you walk in front of my stand, what gives you the right? <laughs> and then I'll shoot him. <laughs> Two, two big four-year-olds, one's a 10 and one's an eight, up on the top of this uh, CRP field. The eight, I don't know about the 10 as far as score is concerned. He's the more dominant buck, but uh, the, the 10 or the eight is, uh, he's pretty big. I mean, he's not Megatron by any, any means. So I'm gonna just wait a little bit longer. We got, uh, I think we got plenty of time left as far as light's concerned. sitting in the stand this morning and uh, an owl flew up next to me and he said, you guys ain't gonna see no deer. He's like, I'm the wisest, I'm the wisest owl in all of the woods. And I looked at him and I went like this. I think you're wrong, I said. He said, whoa, dude, I'm sorry. Man, I, I didn't mean it, and he flew away and we still haven't seen it here. <laughs> this season is not going the way I want it to. Um, it's hard seeing less deer, seeing less movement, 
seeing lower caliber of deer and less does. So if that would be an equation, it would be last year is greater than this year, but that's not really an equation. <laughs> I'm so tired. Good thing I bought a bought a bottle of whiskey to get me through the night. <laughs> that was the only only deer that came through tonight. I don't even know what to say or what to think anymore. It's a little warm. Hopefully things will be moving tomorrow morning. We're gonna come back and hunt the same set. That buck came right where we thought it was going to. And uh, I have a shot right here where he stopped at about 20 some yards, 21, 22 yards. And uh, that would have been absolute perfect. I don't know, that's a good sign. They're up on their feet, they're cruising. energy, money, effort into deer hunting. And when it all comes down to it, you are not in control of anything. You think you can set up in the best spot where the deer are at, where the deer are at in the bedding areas. You got the best farms. But In the grand scheme of things, you don't have control of any of it. So we're sitting here, Ryan goes buck. So we got a buck come through. 22 yards, perfect shot. If Megatron does that, he's, he's gonna get an arrow. And then all of a sudden we start hearing bing, 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 bing. Two guys with four wheelers down the bottom. They look like they're high school kids. It's Tuesday, November 7th. I don't know any holidays. Go to school. So I ask them, do you have permission here? They're like, yeah, we do. And if I had to guess, I would say yes, they did have permission. So they, they just wanted to four, drive four wheelers. I need to start parking my truck in the wide open so people and putting signs up that says, hunt in progress, hunt in progress. I'm so frustrated right now between the horses, the cattle, um, the cattle, the horses, the four wheelers, other hunters. I mean, unless you own your own property, I'd like to give an interview now, but the four wheelers are so loud, you probably can't even hear me. storm come through last night wind rain snow it's still real windy and uh, we didn't know where to go so we decided hey let's just jump into this draw where I've hunted several times before um, in the past uh, I, I always see deer here across my fingers I understand how this sport goes you know you're not entitled to anything and you're not it's it's just as much luck as it is planning and this year my luck's been on the opposite spectrum. So we're gonna sit tight and hope something comes through. And if it does, it does. If it doesn't, hey man, that's how it goes. So. The 
this box got I bet you 8 inch G2's really? or uh, 8 inch uh, brow tines and one's got a huge kicker on it he's eye level with us right now so the cool part is is we saw deer tonight we didn't get skunked I was like we needed that <laughs> real bad we needed that Thanks for watching part two of the Missing Finger Guys story. In part three, he may kill something, possibly even his cameraman. I was introduced to covert trail cameras through an industry friend who had very good things to say about them. Like we do with all of our sponsors, I wanted to put these cameras through the paces before we would promote them. I've used them for almost a year now, and I think most of my covert cameras are still running on the original batteries. This and the quality of pictures is what I like most about covert trail cameras. They are simple to set up, have prices for any budget, and I think you will also find them to be a great addition to your game plan. Covert has several new trail cameras out this year that I'll be testing myself. To check out the full line of covert trail cameras and accessories, visit their website at dlccovert.com.